Hey, welcome to my channel. Have you read the book Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert? It's a fun and inspiring read on how to embrace the creative lives we are meant to lead and it talks about the power of inspiration. For today's video, I'll be sharing three lessons I got from reading this book while creating three simple journal spreads about them. I hope you enjoy. The first lesson that struck me in the book is My creations are not me, they are simply a part of me. At first, this sounds a little counterintuitive to me. We all want to be known or associated with our best works that we put in hours to produce. But our identities are made up of so much more than just one video, one performance, one artwork, or one social media post. If we treat these creations as sacred possessions, we would never be able to let go of them. Our ego would be bruised if anyone criticizes our precious babies. What we should instead hold dear are the effort we invested and the things we learned in the process. This quote from the book sums up this first lesson. What you produce is not necessarily always sacred just because you think it's sacred. What is sacred is the time that you spend working on the project and what that time does to expand your imagination and what that expanded imagination does to transform your life. Lesson 2. If I truly want something, I would find a way to reach it. Create whatever causes a revolution in your heart. The rest of it will take care of itself. Every single pursuit comes with its own undesirable sides. This is true for everything in life. I once thought that living the creative life is all rainbows and butterflies, but the truth is, as much as there is pleasure, there will be pain. Keeping rain over negative emotions and frustrations is also part of the process that I have to be willing to bear. If I truly love something, I will be willing to put up with the negative. Lesson 3 Nobody really cares about what I'm doing because everyone is caught up in their own world. Whatever you do, try not to dwell too long on your failures. You don't need to conduct autopsies on your disasters. You don't need to know what anything means. There is this syndrome called the spotlight effect 
where people hugely overestimate the amount of attention other people are paying to them. What I have come to realize is, everyone is probably too busy living their own lives to be paying attention to mine. Inevitably, there would still be times when we face criticism or failures. But just as we enjoy having our voice and opinions, our critics should be allowed the same. While it's natural to react or feel offended, it is now easier to catch myself and stop these feelings from developing further into long trains of negative thoughts and frustrations. I truly enjoyed Big Magic, and if you're looking for an inspiring read on creativity and courage, I would highly recommend you to check out this book. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video style and see you in the next video.